Hi, lifestyle lovers. Welcome back to SE Lifestyle. And if you are new here, welcome. My name is Erica. My channel is called SE Lifestyle and it's all about creating a good lifestyle. Okay, lifestyle lovers. So this is my video this week that is dedicated to Vlogmas. I told you guys probably about a week or so ago that I am going to do one video per week that's actually dedicated to Vlogmas. And it doesn't necessarily have to be dedicated to Christmas, but just dedicated to the holidays. So in this video, I wanna share a holiday sangria that I have made with you guys. It is in the refrigerator and it's been in there for a few hours. So I am so anxious to taste it and see how it tastes because this is my first time making that sangria. I believe last year I made a holiday eggnog, which is so good, I make it every year. But this year I wanted to try something different and I'm also going to do a charcuterie board. If you have been watching my vlogs, then you know that I received a charcuterie board for a gift and I wanted to just, you know, customize it to what I like. I'm not really a meat and cheese type of girl, but I do love fruit and I bought some pistachios as well to go on the charcuterie board, but I am going to make two of my favorite fruit dips for you guys. So I have two fruit dips that I absolutely love to dip my fruit in. I'm gonna share that with you guys. And then we're just gonna do like a little small tablescape. I have been looking for some, what is called like, um, some ring for the napkins and I haven't been able to find any. So I'm just gonna create my own using some tree picks that I picked up from Walmart and just share some holiday ideas with you guys that you may can use this year or incorporate into your holiday next year. I'm also going to do a giveaway at the end of the video. So make sure you watch all the way to the end. And I'm also going to announce last week Vlogmas winners. So you guys will get to see all of that towards the end of the video. Right now, I'm gonna go ahead and insert the clip of me making the holiday sangria because it has to chill for a minimum of two hours. It's been in there probably about five or six hours because I made it pretty much first thing this morning when I got up. So you guys can go ahead and watch how I make the holiday sangria and then we'll get started with this Vlogmas video. Okay, lifestyle lovers, first I'm gonna start off by adding some sliced fruit. I am going to use one orange, one pear, and one lime. Okay, lifestyle lovers, I'm going to add in some agave nectar. I'm going to add more than two tablespoons because I like sweet wine. <music> So this is the sangria. It's probably been in the refrigerator. I want to say probably about seven hours, but for optimal, for the best taste, they say that you should let it sit overnight. So I probably should have made this last night. It smells good. It smells like something at a restaurant. So before I serve this up, I'm going to add three fourths cup of ginger ale to the mixture and stir it. So I'm just gonna stir it up a little bit more. Oh, I can't wait to taste it. It smells really, really good, really good. 
I'm just gonna take one of these stemless flutes that I purchased from Walmart and I'm going to add some fruit that I've already cut up right here, um, some oranges and some limes, which is already in the sangria mix. Okay, lifestyle lovers, so let's see how it tastes. It tastes good. Oh my God. I know how to make sangria. It tastes really good. And there's um, the pomegranate seed. It tastes good. I like it. I can see how the flavors would be more powerful if it sat overnight, which it will sit overnight because I won't be able to drink all, all of that unless I have some company. But it tastes really good. So now we're gonna move on to my two favorite fruit dip just for the charcuterie board. But let's go ahead and get started on that. Mm. Real good, honey. Okay, lifestyle lovers, we're gonna go ahead and make the fruit dip and we're only going to use three ingredients and that is the marshmallow cream as you see here. I am using the Jet Puff brand and some cream cheese and vanilla extract. And I'm going to take all three of those ingredients and blend them together using a mixer. Uh, uh, Okay, moving on to my second favorite fruit dip, which is made with just some caramel dip. I am using the brand Lighthouse, which is not my favorite brand, but they didn't have it in stock. And I'm just going to use some Heath Bar toffee chips and just mix them together. Simple as that. I'm not going to use any type of measuring for this dip. I would just say equal parts of each ingredient. It is slightly thick, so I would add it to the microwave for 30 seconds or less, but this dip is perfect for Granny Smith apples. Okay, lifestyle lovers. So I'm going to go ahead and style the charcuterie board. It has, let's see, I didn't realize when I first opened it, but it's kind of like a, it kind of comes out a little bit and then it has these little small serving ware. So this is how it looks. Really, really, really beautiful. So I'm going to use two of these for the fruit dip and one for some specific and one for some pistachios. I love pistachios. So I just felt like that would be perfect to add to the board. So just to tell you guys a little bit about what gave me the inspiration for this video was this came along with the gift that I received. It's a beautiful boards book and it has so, 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 so many board options in here. Um, it has like an everyday board. It's, it's just, I love this. <laughs> and this can be perfect like for a baby shower. It has a mimosa board. I think I'm going to try like a couple of these and I probably will, you know, like make a video and put it on my channel. It has like an Easter, Easter board for Easter candy. I'm not a big fan of candy, but this is what gave me the inspiration to do this video. So this is gonna be the prize in this video. If you are interested in this beautiful board book, comment below and hashtag your comment, beautiful board. You know, I don't know if, you know, some of you may not be inter interested in the book and that's fine. But if you are, I am going to give 
this book away in this video. So if you're interested in getting this book and trying out some of these beautiful boards, because they are definitely beautiful, hashtag beautiful board in the comment section. And I am going to select someone randomly to give this book to, because I, I think it's just, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, they have a fondue board, like, you know, you need this in your life. If you like to entertain at your home, you definitely need this in your life. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash the fruit and go ahead and set the board up. And then we'll set the table up. It's cold outside.
Okay, lifestyle lovers, everything turned out so, so good. I re I'm really, I'm proud of myself. I really am. I hope you enjoy this vlogmas video. I hope you enjoy the recipes that I shared with you guys. This sangria is really, really good. So if you are a wine drinker, you will absolutely love this. I think I'm going to do another cocktail on next week's vlogmas. So make sure you stay tuned for that. I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this charcuterie board that I have prepared. The winners from last week Vlogmas will be announced at the very, very end of this video. Um, be sure to thumbs up the video, make sure you comment below. Don't forget to subscribe if you are not already subscribed. We are well on our way to 10K and hopefully we will get there before 2022 gets here. But that's it for this video, Lifestyle Lovers. I hope you enjoyed it. But other than that, I will see you on the next video. If your name was selected, please email me. Email is in the description box.